Hello, parents and scholars, and welcome to Mrs. Pearson's summer reading program. I wanted to give the kids something that they could do independently and just only 10 to 15 minutes a day. 10 minutes if you just do the reading and 15 if you do the comprehension piece as well. So I wanna take you through and show you what this is gonna look like. So all of these stories will be uploaded to the channel um, with their title. So this one is A Bug Hunt. And I'll also have the level of the reading, which is down here at the bottom of the page. If they get confused, Look at all this fun stuff on the page, guys. Okay, so down here, level 0.8, it's about a kinder level. And I would guess wherever your kids want to start, um, start a little bit lower. Our goal is fluency. So we want them to be confident readers. And once they're breezing through all this, then they can level up or go to the next story. And if they're reading it fast, perfect. That is exactly what we want. Go to the next level. So I will also post um, national reading words per minute standards for everyone to kind of take a look at. But here's how it's gonna go. So the kids are gonna read through the passage. I'm going to time them for a minute. And then wherever they stop, they stop. And they're going to record what word they stopped on and how many words per minute that was. But how do they know how many words per minute that was? Well, I'm glad you asked. So here, you could either do this. The numbers are how many uh, words there were in the previous sentence. So if you look one, two, three, four, five, aha, there's five right there. Or wherever they stop, they could just count from there, right? So, oh, I stopped on pup. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, rah, 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 right? So about 14 or 16, excuse me. So they write that down and then they're gonna practice for a minute, practice reading. I'm going to read it to them as part of that practice. So they're gonna practice reading it again. We're gonna practice together, I'm gonna read it. And then I'm gonna time them for another minute and see where they land. They're gonna record that uh, word as well. And then they're gonna post on that story a comment that gives me what word they stopped on first and what word they stopped on the second time around, okay? Now, this gets a little tricky because sometimes readers will go all the way through the story before the minute is up, but don't fear because you could read it again. So if that happens, they can just go through the story and then reread the story. And then if they stopped on, let's say pup for the second time around, then they would say pup too. That would tell me that they read the story and they stopped on the word pup two times, like the second time around. So that's that, the reading portion of it. And if I scroll down, I will give them a minute for the questions. Now they can always stop there for reading. If they wanna do the questions, they absolutely can, right? So give them a minute to read, okay. What does number one say? What do you think it is? Hunt for a bug, right? Things like that. So again, they can do this completely independently and leaving comments um, which words they stopped on the first read and what words they stopped on the second read. So how many words per minute they got the first and second time, um, just to make it easy for them. Now, parents, if you're helping, please put over words per minute um, in the first and second tries. And then I have word lists here also on these pages um, for words that they can practice and read through fairly quickly. Okay, so thank you so much for your time and good luck reading this summer.